For years, activists have been calling for added measures to protect our air and our water from ship pollution. Now steps are being taken to decrease pollution from vessels, and at least one company believes it has a technology that could help. Towering hundreds of feet over the Port of Oakland, it might look like the Bay Area's biggest vacuum cleaner. And in a sense, it is. This barge, run by a startup called Stax, is designed to capture the polluting diesel exhaust from container ships and other large vessels that run their engines while berthed at the port. And that emissions then goes through the ducting here and then gets collected and it goes into our processing unit. CEO Mike Walker gave us a tour of this technology, which he says can filter out 99% of particulate matter and other diesel pollutants reducing huge volumes down to a disposable gas. There are big vessels, and I would say that, you know, it varies between the vessel size, but it's thousands of cars a day worth of emissions for sure. Including pollutants that have been linked to increased cancer risk. And now new regulations from the California Air Resources Board will require specific ocean-going vessels to reduce their idling emissions by at least 80%. Cutting pollution, that's become an environmental justice issue for many surrounding neighborhoods, like West Oakland. Heather Arias is Transportation and Toxins Chief for the Air Resources Board. And you know, you think you see that black smoke and you're like, automatically, you're like, oh, I know that's bad. But you wouldn't necessarily think that's actually bad for people that are miles and miles, like 20 miles plus away. To meet those stricter requirements, the port has already expanded the most popular option, shore power allowing ships to keep their electricity up and running without using their engines. But depending on how the vessel was built, it can be far trickier than just plugging in an extension cord. Colleen Liang directs environmental planning at the port. Because the shore power is at a fixed location and the plug on the ship itself is also on a fixed location, the two have to be in alignment in order for the vessel to plug in. She says the port is working with a number of innovative solutions, including portable shore power outlets mounted on barges. But a percentage of older vessels simply aren't outfitted for these kinds of hookups. And CEO Mike Walker believes his startup's emissions capture technology will fill in those gaps. It really has to be a hybrid approach between the great job we've done with shore power and connecting to that, and now there needs to be another approach to round out that total field. And this is a real opportunity to drive significant impact, and there's not that many times that you get a chance to do that. And potentially set a multi-billion dollar shipping industry on a course for a cleaner and more environmentally friendly future. And the changes don't stop at the shoreline. The state is also tightening air quality regulations for thousands of trucks uh, that haul cargo in and out of the port and other industrial facilities as well.